sort of work that we do within uh, the fish uh, part of the Marshall Lab is to examine retinas, to look at the photoreceptors, to look at the cells within the eyes uh, that conduct colour vision. I'm a postdoctoral researcher here in the Marshall Lab. I'm working on the visual system of um, fishes in general, most specifically um, on deep sea fishes and family of uh, coral reef fish that is particularly interesting because they have a connection to the deep sea. As well as anatomy and looking at the retina, uh, we also have now have a very large genetics project where we're looking at the transcriptome. So what actual information gets through to the retina as the animal um, develops. So um, what you actually now can see, they are expressed in, in the same cone. It's really not co-expression in the same one, but in one of the members of the bell cone, which is really nice. We've got a really good group at the moment. So we're doing everything from molecule up to, to behavior or physiology, you know, neuronal tracing. We do MSP, we do really cool stuff. So you can get a very good overview of what's going on. What are the yeah. field trips like? Was it like being with all these people out in the field? <laughs> yeah, you asked me. I had to cook oh, last yeah. time. <laughs> it's great, actually. Again, we got different strengths, I guess. Sarah and Fanny and, and Rachel, well, so Hannah, they're really, really good at the microscopy level. Like, they're amazing at dissecting the tiniest things ever. So Justin and I are more of the fish catchers. <laughs> We were like happy to, to go and catch everything and then it complements each other really well, I must say. The field trips are always super fun. As well as the genes, uh, we also look at uh, how fish actually behave in the real world and we ask them to talk to us, we ask them to tell us what they're seeing and we can do this with a set of experiments which basically involves a reward. So many animals will you know, go to the green bowl and feed out of the green bowl if you teach them that the green bowl has food in, whereas the red bowl does not. The differences in photoreceptor spectra sensitivities are measurable, but they're not massive. Maybe the fish, in fact, perform equally well, depending on what they need to do, in the framework that they now live in. We don't know that. The answer to that, or the solution to that, is train many fish and get a lot of rep replicates. So fish are very obliging and they can teach us a lot about their color vision systems. There's kind of like a Rubik's Cube illusion. That brown tile there and the one that looks, I guess, bright orange there, they're actually the same colour, spectrally. So I'm working out whether or not he's still falling for that illusion. He's actually trained to the orange, so yeah. Well, this might be exciting. <laughs> Move on to this test here, and because he's trained to the bright orange one, we're still kind of hoping that he'll go for this one, even though we've increased the brightness and he looks looks quite similar. We'll mention that this guy really thinks about his choices too, so he might take a little while. So he's still falling for it, even though we've increased the background brightness to 90%. And one of the exciting new experiments we're doing with fish is to actually give them the same colour vision tests that we give humans. These are called the Ishihara colour vision test and if anyone has been to uh, an ophthalmologist they may have their eyes tested with one of these colour cards. We're now asking fish to do the same thing. I am working with these Picasso triggerfish testing their colour vision and whether that is similar to what we predict based on colour vision models. To start with, we're just using this grey background with a black spot, so there'll be food under that, and the fish is going to peck through the paper to get the food. And then eventually we're going to replace the grey background with um, an Ishihara background, which is what they use in colour vision tests. Some fish, it's surprising for us to learn, have much better colour vision. Other fish are a bit like colourblind humans, they're red-green colourblind. And we're looking at comparative colour vision systems uh, within the fish uh, on the Great Barrier Reef. Thank you.